So I was chatting with a colleague this week and we identified the fact that we have some audio files that we wanted to share. We wanted to share them on our VLE with the students, but also um, we were keen to share them on YouTube, either in, a, in order to put them on the VLE or just to have them to be shareable in a, a more open form, format beyond our VLE. One of our other concerns is that if I'm going to um, post a, an audio file, whether it be a podcast, an interview, or just sound from me, maybe it's feedback on an assessment, if I want to post that on my VLE, Moodle, then if I just post a file, then that doesn't really have prominence on the page and is not particularly alluring. It doesn't. It might not get seen, or um, even if it's seen, it just doesn't have that prominence and it doesn't look like it's very important and that students should engage with it. So if I can add visuals to audio, then um, then I could be on to a winner. And I wanted to try and work out a quick trick to solve that. So that's what I think I've done. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute or so. The, um, I'm going to use OpenShot, which is a video editing software. It's free to download. It's open source. So there's lots of advice online. Um, I think you can do this in iMovie. You can definitely do it in Adobe After Effects. So if you can, if you have a movie editing suite, then I would look uh, online to see if you can add a waveform within that. And um, uh, After Effects has uh, lots of different variables that we can change and we can make it look different. Open Shot, unfortunately, I haven't worked out how to change this waveform, but uh, working with what we've got, I think it looks okay. So uh, you can see on the screen that I've got uh, my open shot open and as with most video editing software there's different tracks and I can layer in files. So I've already made an audio file and I'm going to drop that into there, track two. Um, I've also made, um, just very simply in Google Slides, I've just made a um, an image. So just a simple background image and you can see it there at the top if I pull this down. Um, yeah, it will get a little bit bigger. It's not particularly good. Um, I just took my Twitter profile and added it to Google Slides, and then um, I added, uh, I clipped it from the screen. Um, but uh, any way that you can make an image, that's how you make an image, and then save it as just a, an image file. Um, I'll just get this one back up. Um, so uh, what we should have now is um, a sound which will play over audio. The uh, I need to adjust the size of the. Um, sound over audio or just the image so that it's at least as long as the sound um slightly longer possibly um now if i go to the um sound file and then look at the properties on the left here you can see there's a button that says waveform so if i click that right click it in open shot and then click yes that's now going to add a waveform and now i can change the color as well by double double clicking on there and i'll go for a light color okay uh, so now if i play this Cornish Cliffs by John Betjeman. Hopefully you can hear that. Those moments. So this has got two lines over done. the top. Of long um, I've changed the colour. So adapting the colour of the background and the colour of the foreground, those waves, uh, in about 10 minutes or so of having that file, um, I've managed to create something Far which I can post. Hole. I can post onto YouTube and I can then embed in my VLE. I hope you find that useful.